One unique thing about the Dartmouth Institute and its public health program is um, the access to a variety of different faculty from all walks of, uh, of life. You know, we have um, professors from the medical school, from the uh, from the hospital across the street, um, as well as the opportunity to take classes at the Tuck School of Business, um, which I think has been invaluable for me, uh, sort of learning the business side of medicine that isn't always apparent uh, working as a clinician. The Dartmouth Institute has a diverse faculty um, from guest speakers who come from all walks of life and different careers, uh, CEOs from hospitals such as uh, Massachusetts Eye and Ear, uh, to local hospitals, um, to healthcare consultants who come from many different businesses uh, across the country. There's also quite a diverse student body. Uh, similarly, we have um, uh, mid-career physicians, residents doing fellowships um, in <clears throat> leadership in preventative medicine, as well as students who are just out of undergrad. Um, and additionally, we have people who are in politics who come and bring um, a different background uh, to the classroom discussions, and I think this uh, diversity really adds a lot to the Dartmouth Institute's degree program. One thing I've enjoyed <clears throat> probably the most about being part of the Dartmouth community is the um, access to intramural sports. The um, Dartmouth Institute put together an intramural hockey team this year, as well as an intramural basketball team, and another event that was great this year to take part in. Um, and uh, made me feel much more part of the Dartmouth community was the Polar Bear Plunge, um, which is an event that's part of a, a weekend of fun um, in the Winter Carnival. Um, Dr. Fisher, the director of TDI, as well as a couple other fellow students um, and myself jumped into a frigid pond, and this was a, an event for charity. It was cold, but it was a lot of fun.